so okay students now in this very video which will uh, be a very short one i just wanted to tell you as to why this student because i had taken this copy why this student lost two marks out of five she got just three let's see why so i would take it in elaborate details notice writing you know it's a live example so you'll get a better idea of what actually happened and what actually happens with most of you see the question was you have to draft a notice intimating and informing students about the inter house speech competition okay it's supposed to be an inter house speech competition so you, are you inviting names of the participants yes understandably yes so let's see how you start the start is very right notice and the school name is very good it needs to be written at the top in capital letters preferably she did it she did it she wrote it in capital letters she or it could be he now the next line comes and that happens to be the heading of the of the notice inter house speech competition the flaw the fault over here lies in the absence of capital letters remember this so it should be inter house speech competition as capital i in inter edge in house s in speech and competition fine well that's all very well it has to be a single line this student does this uh, elemental actually fundamental error of writing the theme of the receipt speech writing as well which was not needed over here the speech competition is about to be conducted that is all very well no this is fine this is the heading or the topic of the notice but as far as the topic of the speech is concerned you do not need to write the topic over here so avoid this and the at the top now coming to the date this student writes the date over here and do you think you would write the date after you have written the heading not at all actually this heading should have been uh this heading should have come after the date so ideally the date should come over here below the school's name or by the side of the heading okay that is the right place and do not write date just simply write the date on which you are issuing the notice or you are drafting the notice and understandably you got to be very logical when you are writing the date because the competition also see there are actually three dates here let me clarify three dates in this particular notice in every notice it happens three dates see what first is the date of notice when you are drafting a notice and pasting it on the no at the notice uh, board that is the first date okay this will come this will be preceding the the next two and then comes the date of the conduct of the competition date of the competition whichever it is it could be a note it could be a speech writing competition a debate competition or sports or any fancy dress competition a poster making whichever you are talking of whichever you are going to conduct and you are going to invite the names for that competition so that is the date of the competition that will come next in the body of the letter oh, sorry body of the notice this date comes at the first place i'll write it in red ink so as to make it clear later on first let me tell you about the third date remember this first date is the draft of the notice the date on which you are drafting the notice and displaying it on the notice board second is uh, the day and the date when the competition is going to be organized 
and the third will be the date by which the latest date that is the latest date by which you want names you want names of the students of the participants to be submitted to you the house masters would submit or the house captains or anyone responsible from the house any student council member cca captain or secretary whoever is the captain of the house will submit the names of the selected students to you and you are the school cca secretary remember you are the school level secretary well now i might elucidate it clarify it in red ink also first comes this date here this is the first number this should be the earliest date and then comes the date of the competition when is the competition going to be organized and if you see if you read the body of the letter that comes actually inside the body of the letter this comes in the body of the letter you will write the place where the competition is to be organized in the body you need to write the place that is the venue is it the auditorium where speech competition is going to be organized or is it the assembly ground or is it the library wherever it is venue means the place okay then comes the day and date the date of the competition when is the program going to be organized and the next thing that comes in the body of the notice is third thing that comes over here is let me first rub it off so as to make it pretty clear yeah and the third thing that comes here is the three details that you need to provide to the students so they can submit their names first is the place where the competition gets organized second is the day and the date together and the third is the topic of the competition what is the topic of the speech competition is it is it on the rising cases of uh, women exploitation or rising violence in the school or rising increasing indiscipline in the school and you want to make it sure that is the topic on which the students will every house contestant will speak on in the speech competition and it is going to be an inter house competition is that understood so place date and topic and what this student has done is this student has written wrongly written actually the topic of the competition here it is not to be written here it is to be written in the body of the notice now let's read it see how it gets started of course you will leave a line after you, the heading remember to leave us a complete line and then comes all the students of classes 9 to 12 whichever is your target audience let me write over here target audience or select audience whom do you want to hear you to listen to you who to read the notice on the board you need to specify the target audience at the very beginning of the notice in the body of the this is called the body of the notice actually if you are confused about the body what is body sir always his body of the letter body of the notice well this is called the body of the notice okay so uh, all the students of classes whoever you who you are addressing don't you remember your um, head boy or the principal or the announcer or your english teacher or your any announcer on the stage first addresses the students if this is a uh, this is something important and information for classes 6 to 12 or for classes 11th and 12th there pre there uh, let's say monthly tests are to be organized from tomorrow onwards 
whatever the information is your target audience has to be addressed first but in this case this student actually see how he or she starts he writes this is announced that there will be uh, you know, she writes or he writes let me put it in red ink the student writes this is announced that there will be you are not announcing beta you are actually writing of course it's a you, your intention is to announce it but you do not need to write this word announce so do not use this word announce you have written all the students of classes which have a classes 9 to 12 or 6 to 8 or junior classes so all the students of classes so and so all the students of each house whichever the target is okay all the students of class in 9 to 12 are hereby informed that informed that 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 a competition uh, you which competition you cannot plainly write such a broad term called competition you need to write which competition directly come to the competition its name which competition is it of that an inter house competition inter house speech competition actually inter house speech competition is going to be organized yeah is yeah will be organized you could write will be or you could write is going to be organized use it as a template i have been telling in my classes some words some frames are fixed these are templates a speech competition an inter house speech competition and zonal level competition whichever the competition is is going to be organized this is a fixed a uh, format is going to be organized yeah will be organized in our school now this student writes in our school so school is such a broad such a broad category there are so many places where in our school where in the school auditorium okay in the school auditorium or wherever you want it to be organized write the specific place haven't you heard the specifications whenever you like imagine those remember those times when you are buying a mobile or going for any purchase for any shop don't you ask for the spec- specifications what is a ram or what's a ram rom or what is the screen size these are the specifications so be specific here as well in the school auditorium or in the school library or in the assembly or in the assembly ground okay on so once the place is written you move on to the date whereas this student does not write the date see this student misses the date altogether and rather than that he or she chooses to write the target audience now class is 9 to 12th should have been written at the beginning of the body of the notice so that is a that is a grave mistake that he or she has done but now she goes on to write on 11th of august that's very good appreciable but remember on 11th of august is a good idea it would be better write okay fine on 11th august be short 11th of august is okay fine acceptable 11th of august 2022 2022 do you do you really think 2022 the year also needs to be written the year does not need to be written over here it's understood you are going to announce it let's say or write the notice on because the competition is on 11th of august now let's say you are writing the notice on 6th of august so write the date over here 6 august 8 22 Now the competition is on 11th of August. So five days from now, we will be organizing this speech competition. But 
but very importantly very importantly make sure there is a gap in there is a little space a distance in time from the moment you write the notice to the moment when the competition is going to be organized okay the day and date written over here you it's better if you write day as well on saturday you understood you got my point on saturday on saturday the 11th on saturday the 11th of august so the day always gives a clear idea of of, of when the competition gets organized so student would not forget it whoever is the target audience they would not forget so they will keep that on priority yeah this is the date and we'll have to submit the names before that now before that means somewhere in the middle comes the third date latest by let's say 9th of august by 9th of august submit the names and whom are you asking to submit the names some responsible authority in the house it could be a student council member house captain house cca captain or even the house house masters among the teachers so now comes the heading now she writes or he writes on the importance of sports in school life very well done this is appreciable only thing that uh, went wrong was this heading this top uh, the topic of the speech was written at the top as well which was not at all needed well on the theme you are on the topic or on the subject right this word as well on the subject and then write the subject of the speech importance of sports in school life full stop so do you see you addressed by now you have addressed three w's what is to be organized where is to be organized what where and why actually why does not uh, does not get specified here uh, let me correct myself it's what where and when when is the day and the date it's organized is being organized on 11th of august where in the school auditorium what is to be conducted speech competition is to be conducted in the house speech speech competition okay now let's move on to the next sentence now this student writes see here let me take another blue color because it's too much of a red and i will rub rub these things off so as to get a clear slate over here clean slate well we don't need any crowd here uh, it seems it seems illegible and it's more confusing so let me rub all this yes okay that is fine i will rub it work this well this one as well now coming to the second sentence this student writes students contact to your house captains never write to with contact contact your house captains and see there is a mistake over here there is something which will um, breach the word limit because the student or this uh, student whose copy i have taken she chooses to address the students she says students must submit you meet your house captains and the house captains will submit their names to me why are you talking to the students now you would have simply asked the house captains to submit the names of the selected students now why are you forming a kind of a channel in the in this notice here they will come to you the house captains after selecting after having selected students let's say uh, 16 students come to every house master uh 16 from a certain house and the house captain or the house master chooses any two and those two names come to you so so why are you bothered about the rest of the 14 students who are not selected that is not your bother simply ask the house captains to submit any two 
selected students names to you latest by so and so date so the sentence should be like this there there is where actually the student commits the mistake she writes students contact your house captains by 9th of august uh the competition will be held in seventh period well i told you when is to be organized the when of the competition should be there in the first line itself the first sentence itself first sentence comprises three w's what where and when w w w understand this way okay now there is no room for any other date only the last date of submission latest by that should be coming in the second sentence so just ask the house captains so the sentence goes should be like all the house captains are requested to submit to are requested to submit are requested to submit to selected students names or you could write are requested to submit the names of any two selected students to the undersigned to the undersigned and this is the undersigned you are undersigning it so you are you are signing under all this so you are the undersigned never write me submit to me no some no rather many of the students write submit to to me well that's not a good practice you should write submit to the undersigned submit to the undersigned latest by what do you say what do you think 11th august is the date of the competition so what what which date would be appropriate uh, for the students to or for the house captains to submit the names so you could you will have to form a draft and finalize and prepare for 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 the competition as well so latest by 9th of august latest by 9 8 22 so when the names are submitted by 9 you will be in a position you will have still two days to prepare for the competition so you will get those names typed and written and submitted to the concerned authorities and it goes on so 6 august okay 6 august you are drafting the notice you are drafting the notice drafting the notice that is the earliest date 11th august is the date of the competition date of the speech competition that is date of the competition and somewhere in between that is the 9th august 9th august oh sorry somewhere in between 9th august that is it could be even 10 one day before the competition any date of the convenience of the undersigned so on the 9th of august it is the submission of the names so remember this these three things and those three w's again three so three w's three dates let me write that again three okay let me write it in in red ink three okay let me thicken it that will make it pretty clear for you three w's all right three dates and three three specifications three specifications that is the venue of the competition the date of the competition and the date and the day as well of course day and date and the topic of the competition talk of topic of the debate or the speech or whichever it is so these three so it is always the threes of the notices that you will have to remember and you will never go wrong you will earn 5 out of 5 marks if you follow this strategy so good luck to you